I was never afraid to fail because I always felt unconditionally mm -hmm. loved. And for, uh, you know, the parents out there, grandparents, families, if you have an athlete that's going through this journey or just life in general, I mean, it doesn't need to be sports. I just honestly felt so loved no matter what place I ended up, first place, last place, DQ. I knew it wasn't disappointing my parents. And that's where we see a lot of like young athletes where they're afraid just to go for it because they're afraid they're going to let somebody down because they feel like they measure their worth on their success in the pool, on the soccer field, on the podium, et cetera. So my parents' unconditional love, I really contribute a lot of my success to. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of attributes that go into being a champion, but it starts at home and it starts with the way you're raised and it starts by not being afraid. And so I was never afraid just to get up and race. I mean, I do feel like I was born with this fire. Um, I think you're either born being really competitive or you're not. I've seen it after being a coach. I'm like, you have the fire. You don't, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and you either have it or you don't. And I think coaches can bring it out to a certain degree, but it's the way you're hardwired. Um, and so I was always really competitive. I had a natural taking to the water, just a natural feel. Um, as soon as I was walking, I was going off the diving board and my mom's like, oh my gosh, can't even swim yet. But I was just like, boom, go. My swim coaches instilled more belief in me, like saying, you know, I think it's time to give up soccer and really uh, dedicate yourself to swimming because we think that you could do some pretty incredible things. And my soccer coaches were never really that vocal about it. And, it, you know, it's such a different sport, swimming to soccer. I mean, you're going from an individual sport to a team sport. And the chances of, you know, scholarships and national teams and World Cup, which is starting this week. I'm so excited. Um, and so I chose swimming. I, I was um, in junior high. And when I was younger, I was a lot shorter and smaller and skinnier. I hadn't gone through puberty yet than my competitors. And, you know, I, I hung in there. I was like average. And then kind of like the middle of eighth grade, I really just started taking off. I, I started getting a little bit of height. I was still like pretty small when I got to high school. Like looking back at old pictures, I thought I was like in junior high. My mom's like, no, you're in high school here. Um, and then when I was 16, it was kind of crazy how quickly things went. Like I went to practice. I worked hard. I got good sleep. Uh, I was really involved in school too. I was class president in yearbook. I think it's really important to stay well balanced because swimming's going to leave eventually. And um I would say it was, yeah, my my junior years when a junior of high school, sorry, that I really started taking off. And I made my first international meet in 1999 when I was 16. And then the following year, I made my first Olympics at 17. So the the progression is like a little unique in the sense that it happened really quickly. Like I, you know, it was kind of in the mix that I wasn't really like the star of the show. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, I took off, um, grew from like five, four to five, seven, put on some weight, put on some muscle and was kind of just like, uh, what's the right word? How pretty naive, like as to how good I was, you know, I was just like, I race, I like to win. And People are like, oh, are you going to make the Olympics? I'm like, I, I don't know. Like other people were talking about the Olympics more than I was or going to my parents like, oh, your daughter's going to make the Olympics. And my mom's like, we don't we don't know that, you know. And um, sure enough, I made my first Olympic team. And that was pretty surreal. You have to be the first or second fastest American in your race to make the Olympic team. That's amazing. And I did that when I was 17 years old. <laughs> that, that, that's amazing. 